So exercise is very, very, very beneficial for managing something like this. Uh, one of the best ways to help treat this kind of hair fall is managing your hormones. It's very important. So exercise is very, very, very beneficial uh, for managing something like this. I know physical activity and hair fall doesn't look like they should come together because they're so unrelated, but they're not. Actually, when you exercise more, you have a higher blood supply. You have a better uh, supply of blood to your extremities, where your skin is, where your hair is, where your nails are. Because usually when you are sedentary, blood doesn't flow as easily to further areas of your body. So when you have more blood supply, you have a better oxygen and nutrients going to your the root of your hair, which will start treating the hair fall. So whatever diet I'll tell you, or whatever foods I'll tell you, it won't help if your blood is not taking the nutrients to that hair root, right? So it's very important that you get more physically active and get resources to get to your blood. Also being physically active, you have less stress, your body fights infection, and you have this feel-good hormone that's released after exercise. During exercise, probably you won't uh, care so much about it, but after exercise, you feel really good, you have elevated mood, and the mood helps with the hormone levels and it helps with managing the stress and the emotions, emotional uh, stress and the physical uh, stress that's in your body. Uh, so an average of 150 minutes a week is recommended uh, when it comes to cardio activity. So whether it's running, walking, uh, jogging, cycling, any of those 150 minutes a week. So that's about 20, 24 minutes um, a day. Uh, so I would say an average pick 30 minutes a day at least for younger kids it should be a little bit more. Or um, also track your steps. Uh, you can use Fitbit or a smartwatch is something that helps track the number of steps. You can do it through a phone with your free apps, of course. But I usually recommend having something physical on you. That way it's more accurate and it buzzes you and reminds you to walk and stuff like that.